Hello and welcome to the Card video lessons. My name is Sergey and today we are going to look more than speak. Yes, our topic for today is images. The product images in Card are divided into five groups. Main image, additional images, thumbnail images, option images and option combination images. In the general settings of the product, we have already seen the main image. There it is, yes, this red hoodie. But also, uh, there is an additional tab for the images. Images tab, yeah. I added some additional images, so now we have three of them, different types of hoodies, uh, and uh, they are presented under the main image. Uh, let me show you it on the products page. This is the main image, and these are the additional images. One, two, three. What we can do about additional images? First, we can add the new image by clicking Add. Uh, we can clone uh, the previous one, and we can remove them here or here. Uh, by the way, let me upload a new image uh, to demonstrate you how it works. This one, for example. Okay, one, save, done. We edit the new image. After I click the Chrome button, for example, uh, I'll get the same thing. Except these three actions, we can drag and drop them, so we can change their position on the line. Also, there are some other things that influence the additional images. Uh, by the way, I would like to tell you about thumbnails. Uh, thumbnails are generated automatically by CS Card. You can also upload them manually by clicking this button. Yeah, usually thumbnails are created from the main image. This one. Now let's speak about the settings that can be applied to the images. First, there is an, an individual page for the thumbnail settings. Here you can change the quality of the thumbnails, thumbnail format, background color of the thumbnails, its size and um, other parameters. Other settings are located in settings, appearance. Let's find them. Here we go. Uh, the first one is here. Display mini thumbnail images as a gallery. Let me show you. Okay. And there is also one more thing. Uh, default image previewer. Magnific pop-up, uh, fancy box, white box, pretty photo. Okay, let me demonstrate to you the gallery and Magnific pop-up. Save. And now back to products page. Here we go. For now, we have zoom. Uh, I will explain it later. This is the add-on. But if you click this, this is a Magnific pop-up. That's how it looks like. Now let's refresh the page. And here we have the gallery for the thumbnail pictures. We can click. One, two. Okay, and then it uh, goes back to the first picture. One by one. Okay, okay. That's how it works. So, uh, that's it about uh, the image settings. Now let's speak about image add-ons. Image add-ons, as you can guess, are located in add-ons, manage add-ons. Okay, there are two of them. The first one is um, image zoom. I'll show you this. Okay, and uh, another one is the watermarks. Okay, let me set up the watermarks. Okay, I'm going to use text watermark, the name of my store, uh, watermark position. You can also change font color, font size, well, everything related to the fonts. Or you can just use the picture, for example, the logo of your store. Okay, um, to what types of uh, pictures apply my watermark? To resized images or original size images? Okay, both. Uh, category watermarks, no, I don't need them. Now, let me show you both the image zoom and watermarks. Let's go to the products page. This is how the image zoom works. You just mouse over the picture and you have a detailed view of the product. It works greatly with the clothes, shoes and other stuff. And. Uh, this is our watermark. Instead of a text watermark, you can use the transparent picture of lots of logos of your store or lots of uh, the text lines 
It's up to you. I think you have already seen examples in other stores. That's it about the image add-ons. Now let's speak about option images and option combinations images. You might have noticed that the main picture differs from the pictures on the products page. It happened because of the product combination images. So now let me show you where they are stored. Let's move to the products page in the admin panel. You can find uh, these um, images in the local options tab, for example here. Yeah, options, click extra button and you'll get a picture. And uh, there are also um, the unique pictures for the option combinations. You can add them by clicking local zero euro button. Okay. Well, yes, every combination, every option combinations, I mean, like color and size combination, um, has its own picture. And this image replaces the main image. That's how it works. So, pay attention that both options and option combinations have their own pictures. Uh, that means that here in the variants, pictures can differ from here option combinations. By the way, global option images are stored in products options. Here, color, size. So, no, no, okay, uh, I mean that you can add the special pictures for the global options, if you wish. Uh, for example, you want to have um, some clothes as a representation of a white color. Well, it's strange, but it might work. It depends on your goals when you build up your store. But right now, the pictures are stored in the local options. That's how options images and option combinations images work. Don't forget that they replace the main image when you add them. That's it, what I wanted to tell you about uh, all image types. Now I want to show you one very useful tool that will help you to add uh, pictures, images, very fast and very effectively. For this, we need to go back to the product list. Find our hoodie. Just like this. Okay, I'm going to use uh, both hoodies here. Then I choose export selected. Okay, images. Then uh, images directory. Yes, this is their all images of the store are collected. So all the images that you upload to the store, they automatically edit to this image directory. I will explain it a little bit later. Now, export. Okay, we exported uh, the images, the image data, speaking correctly, uh, of the products. Now let's take a look at this CSV file. We have four parameters here. Two of them are obligatory for the images, project code and pair type. Pair type means that M is the main image and A is the additional ones. Okay, thumbnail, you can add the thumbnail pictures here if you wish, and detailed image. Now I have downloaded uh, all information about uh, the pictures of uh, presented products, about both hoodies. Uh, I can change the data here. I'm not going to do this, but when you upload your images uh, to the Exim backup images folder on your server, uh, for example, you have um, specific names of pictures. For example, all of your pictures for this product are named one, two, three, four, and you just enter here one, two, three, four, something like that. Yeah, you write the name, you enter the names of these pictures and after that you upload this file back to the CS card. All the pictures will be automatically added to the products page. 
you can create uh, a kind of a library of pictures from where you can uh, take uh, your pictures and quickly add them to the product. You don't have to upload them manually. Just use the CSV files and um, the process of uh, building up your store will become really quick. The CSV files is uh, the really powerful tool. Now let's upload. I'm not going. I'm not going to change anything here. Just leave it uh, as it is. It's time to import our data. For this, we need to go to Import Data, Products, Images tab. Once again, all images that you have prepared for your store must be stored, must be located in this folder on your server. Now let's import our data. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is it, I believe. Now let's import. Done. New object 0, updated object 7, skipped object 0, total 7. Yeah, we added the new pictures. Oh, okay. <laughs> let's call it new pictures. Now let's take a look. Products, products. Hoodie. Trefoil hoodie. And images. Yes, the new images have been added. Here they are. Of course, you can say that I copy them, but uh, that's not exactly the same thing. You can do the same operation with the new pictures. I just didn't bother with that. So it's up to you. That's it about product images. In the next video, we will be speaking about SEO settings. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCount video tutorials.